Hello everybody. Before we begin, let me introduce myself briefly. My name is Aris Kurniawan and I'm PLTQ Block 1 Machine Maintenance Supervisor Senior and with my partner Eriawan Kusuma as Maintenance Manager. Today I'm going to be talking about redesign and upgrade bearing material traveling ground screen in Muara Karang Combined Cycle Power Plant Block 1. From the outline, I will begin from introduction and the finally about conclusion. Introduction, the Muara Karang power plant consists of steam power plant and combined cycle power plant are managed by PT Pembangkitan Jawa Bali. This power plant is located in Puit, North Jakarta. This power plant have total capacity of 1,600 megawatts. From the background, from Tuesday, 22 January 2019, the problem is the north side traveling drum screen is rise, and we must stop steam turbine. The final financial loss due to the failure of steam turbine operation of 28.59 billion rupees. This problem is not the first. From the DMET history, the problem began from 2016, 2018, 2019. There is problem repeat years by years. From the damage condition, there is a pile of grass, pile of mud, the radius of drum screen is broken, piano and spur do not overlap, broken bolt fuse, but the all the problem begin from bearing damage. From the Pareto loss output, Combined cycle block one in 2019, the highest problem is drum screen. The research proposed the first to overcome the problems in TDS bearing by redesign and upgrade bearing material. And the second to ensure TDS bearing with new design and material have a long lifetime. What is traveling drum screen? Traveling drum screen has a function to filter seawater that flow from siphon outlet to the circulating water pump well. From the diagram, we know the seawater from intake canal, siphon, mobile trash rack, traveling drum screen, circulating water pump, the bridge filter condenser, the final two output. From the picture, we know that the bearing traveling drum screen under sea level. To support our research, we use a previous journal that is uh, about the bearing that's operation in underwater. And we use finite element analysis to know about the capability of bearing. From basic theory, bearing is machine element that support a shaft that has a load so that rotation or alternating motion can take place smoothly, safely, and has a long life. Bearing from load direction consists of radial thrust and combination. Based on mechanism or construction, bearing divided by two, roller and slider. Bearing materials must have sufficient hardness and strength to withstand the load. Therefore, there are various types of bearing materials whose selection is based on the size, the load, and operating environment. High load capacity, but hardness, approved for wet and dry operation, very low stick slip, good elasticity from strength, low wear characteristic, maintenance free because it's under water, good dimensional stability, competitive price, environmentally friendly, there is no waste, and of course, corrosion resistance because contact with sea water. About PV factor, the load of factor PV has considerable influence on determining the bearing useful operating life. PV is determined by multiplying the specific bearing load or pressure with the sliding speed. Bearing material are read by a PV limit. 
we must compare the PV material and design factor. The first, we must calculate about bearing length, pressure on the bearing, speed of the bearing, and PV factor. The finally, we calculate design value. Methodology this research start with a failure drum screen bearing, root cause failure analysis, study of iterator, and we collect data specification and operation of drum screen. After that, we determine of drum screen material. Drum screen material mass, strength, and corrosion resistance. After that, we compare about PV material we choose and PV factor. After that, we determine of drum screen bearing design. Then we make stress analysis simulation with software. The finally, we manufacture and installation of drum screen bearing. And the last, we monitoring drum screen operation. From result and discussion, uh, material TDS bearing we compare about material present condition with three alternatives. There is Pertinax present condition, we compare with Lignum Vitae or Pogut, alternative to Jackfruit Wood, and the last is Bronze. We compare based on mechanical properties. From the mechanical properties, we choose Pogut Wood or Lignum Vitae because it has a highest oil content of 6.22%. This become an important factor because if there is a failure in the lubricating system or grease, bearing with pocket material are able to lubricate themselves. So that there is no failure of the TDS operation because have a oil content and low friction. We calculate about PV factor calculation analysis. From the first, we determine diameter tunnel, calculate length, bearing, pressure, velocity, PV factor, and the last, we can determine design value. Design value is about 9,559.004 compared with PV rating of for good, for good is 12,000, so higher than design value. So we can use for good to become a bearing TDS. Redesign TDS bearing from the existing one grease hole and one grease groove. We redesign become three grease hole and, and three grease groove. The redesign make the grease in the redesign higher than before, about 0 0.177 liter grease. After that, we uh, calculate about force in the bearing. Before that, we know about TDS assembly mass, about 9,000 kilogram. And we can calculate and get the force is 44.14. Five newton. This is used in simulation. Stress simulation analysis with Autodesk Inventor. We know that stress analysis before and after there is a bigger because we added the groove and we added the hole, but there is no big problem. The important one is safety factor. We know that safety factor with uh, new design and new material is bigger than before. We conclusion that uh, if the safety factor bigger, have long lifetime. So after that, we manufacturing and the bearing, traveling drum skin and install to and assembly to traveling drum skin. The conclusion: the first, the redesign of bearing traveling drum skin will reduce the risk of disruption of the main cooling system. Using simulation software, the bearing design we shall obtain with for good material having a safety factor of 1.28 and pertinax 
having a safety factor of 0.85. This show that the redesign and material improvement that has been done can increase the safety factor of the bearing and can reduce the possibility of bearing failure. The second, this innovation has been implemented in Muara Karang Combined Cycle Power Plant Block 1 for one year and has reduced the unplanned maintenance frequency and increased the reliability of steam turbine operation so as to minimize the potential final loss due to the failure of steam turbine 1.0 operation of 28.59 billion rupees. Thank you for presenting this research.